to try some delicious food here. It's uh, Jose Andres' place here in downtown Los Angeles. Uh, we're right next to the Disney Concert Hall and uh, some other little places. We have a beautiful little spot right here on the little veranda or balcony, whatever you call it. So uh, we're in the heart in downtown. We're gonna try some of these things and see what it's all about. I'm with Emily and uh, let's do it. It should be nice. The wow. foggy hill with the mezcal, the sweet vermouth, and you can smell this is orange and thyme. Very nice. <laughs> this is orange and thyme if you want to take a small uh, sniff. Wow. Sorry about that. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot where and, this is uh, going. We just use a smoke inside the glass, you know, to transfer the, bee, the, the zest from the orange. Wow. Please have a sip now the smoke is inside. It's very nice. Give a oh nice smoky mezcal. The little drink that stimulates um, your uh, smell in your... And palates at the same time. Yeah. Very smoky. <laughs> Whoa, everything's stimulated right uh, now. <laughs> please, we're oh, going yeah, to let, let you enjoy it. It's good, it's good, thank you. Well, I had no idea you are getting a science experiment. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> you didn't, you didn't do that either. Do you want to try this? Oh my god, I, I, what do you think about uh, that? Maybe I'll try it without all the, the pressure. <laughs> yeah, turn around, turn around. <laughs> 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 like when I breathe it's a... It's very strange like I'm getting hookah vibes while I'm drinking it. Like the um, did they say a rose? Or they all came in it so quickly. I right? I wasn't prepared. <laughs> Do you want to try it? Uh, yeah I'll try it. Should we keep it rolling? Yeah keep it rolling. Ooh, I like that. Oh wow. I like that a lot. That's very, very nice. It's almost like sweet. It's very good. So I got the G and T of the gin and tonic, and I'm a little bit disappointed that I did not know that there was a science experiment that I could have gotten. Uh, I'm a big fan of drinks with a show or a show with a drink, so kind of upset but I got the gin and tonic it's kind of boring now but it looks good it smells really nice very aromatic very herbally it's got a nice little strange little herb thing in there so looks like I'm about to make like a nice pasta or something so let's try it out that's pretty good that's a nice gin and tonic I must say a little bit sweet for my taste, but I think it's just the tonic. I'm a little bit used to uh, doing gin and soda water these days, but I feel like I'm in like a Skinamax thing. Oh yeah. But no, it's really good. It's, it's delicious, it's fine. It's very easily drinkable, nice and uh, cold and refreshing on a hot summer day, just like today. So, very good. Oh wow, it has like a little... Like a, I don't know how they do that. It has an outline of the leaf in there. I like how it's just a giant ice cube in this glass. I almost feel like if you shake it too much, it's gonna like shatter the glass in here a little bit. little leaf thing just chills on top of yeah. the ice. Do you think that, I, that ice indentation was there before or the leaf made it in there because it's I so hot? I don't think that leaf made that. Look, no, you don't think so? Oh yeah, you're right, leaf. yeah. You're right, you're right. Interesting. Very fancy. Yeah. Very, very fancy. It's like an art project. And very that fancy. guy did look like a mad scientist. Yeah. Coming up. <laughs> give, it, give it a try. <laughs> really caught me off guard. Right? I wasn't expecting that. But that's a nice drink though. It's nice. A little sweet. Watch, even as mm, I drink it, ice cube, it stays afloat on top. Like a oh. island. Wow. <laughs> uh, this is apparently asparagus with a whole bunch of whatever this is and some lily pads. So, oops, sorry. I messed up. Here we go. Let's try this. I'm going to take just a little bit of these asparagus here. 
like that. I guess with the spoons is the way to go. They got some nice little red sauce on the bottom. Take some of these uh, little seaweeds here. I don't know what, exactly what this is. I probably should have checked that out. And I'll take some of this red sauce. So I get the whole little thing in there, you know, get the whole, the whole experience going. So let's try this. I'm gonna try a little bit of this, a little bit just like so. A little bit of the asparagus. It's gonna be a substantial bite right here. Look at this. It's nice. Very well, perfectly cooked asparagus. Obviously, if you're getting asparagus at a place like this, you would hope so. Whenever I make asparagus, it's incredibly hard. I think it all goes very well. The red sauce is almost like a little bit like tomatoey. I know I'm gonna say that and then you're gonna see the little blurb of what this actually is right before. To be like, that's not tomato at all. But whatever it is, it has a nice little like almost tomatoey, very like hearty sort of flavor to it. Not too like spicy or salty or anything like that. It kind of all works together in a nice little savory sort of ensemble sort of deal. So I like it, it's good. Oh. Very nice, very much works together, goes very well. And it's definitely a take on asparagus that I never really thought that I would uh, have, you know? It's uh, it's different, it's nice, it's good. It's relaxing, refreshing, very good on a hot summer day or otherwise, very nice. I like that they're cut smaller because they're so hard to eat. I mean, whole, you know? Yes. Get a little lily pad, a little topping. Is an interesting um, sauce. Not, the sauce doesn't look that appetizing, but we'll see what Jose has in store for us. Are you more top or bottom asparagus? Oh, I roll both ways, you okay. know. <laughs> when it comes to asparagus, I'm otherwise. I'm gonna go for the top first. <laughs> okay. Meat in it, but it almost tastes like a ragu. Dude, I was just about to say really? that straight up. Yeah, <laughs> really? I was just saying that. I was gonna say like, ragu. But I know there's no meat in it. Right. We would have seen that. Mm. That's good. Much more exciting than any other asparagus I've had. It's usually like garlic, butter, whatever. But yeah, I like the sauce. I'm very curious what's in it, but it's good. Okay, here we got striped base crudo, because it's all about that base, uh, no trouble. So let's try it out here. I've had quite a bit of uh, bass recently. Usually when it comes to bass, it's just about catching them and then releasing them, but apparently a lot of people like to eat them and have it raw. So. Maybe next time I go fishing, I'll do that. Let's try it out. I wonder if this is a large mouth or a small mouth. I wonder if they're caught in the tullies. Not exactly sure, but it smells good. It doesn't have a fishy smell to it whatsoever. I'm gonna dip it into whatever sauce this is because it looks very nice. Let's give it a little bite here. Mm. It's got a nice little bite to it. A little bit of a spice to it. Very nice, I like that. Uh, very good. I like the flowers in there too. If you can tell, there are actually little flowers in here. I kind of feel like uh, like the Jolly Green Giant or something, just like eating flowers. I love flowers. They're so delicious, but yeah, it's, it's quite nice. I like that a lot. Very refreshing, very tasty, and uh, definitely something to try out. I think it's very nice. It's got a nice little, very good. It's, it's raw fish. What am I going to say? You know, I'm not really too you know, it's raw fish. It's good. It's nice. I like it. Okay. I'm going for one with the flower. Oop. I think I lost it along the way. Mmm. Mmm. Very citrusy. Really good. I'm trying to think of what flavor is in there. Like an olive oil, maybe lemon. 
little greenery with that scallion or something. Very tasty. It's not like what I would think you'd get like in a Japanese restaurant, sushi restaurant. It has a whole different flavor than that. But really good, light and refreshing, but no soy sauce or typical sauce you'd get with something like this. Totally different, but very nice. That's a good point because a lot of the flavor profile that I get from a dish like this would be sort of that like Japanese or Asian sort of style, yeah. like very soy saucy or umami sort of flavor. Yes. So it is definitely an interesting taste with the citrusy sort of spin on it. So that's a good point. I like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. I agree with that. Very good. Yes, very different. All right, let's, let's taco about this. It's another taco type thing. I have a lettuce thing and I have these tomatoes and I'm gonna make a taco because when it comes to making tacos, that's my bread and butter. So let's put these tomatoes inside here and stuff it in this lettuce, which has been chilled with a nice little bath of ice. That's good because I like my lettuce chilled. Here we go. It's a taco. Wow. It's almost like a little like rubbery, but not in a bad way. I like it though. Very nice and like kind of like spicy. Not spicy, but like has like a little bit of a kick to it. Nice little, has a nice little chew crunch to it that usually tomatoes don't have, you know? It's almost like they're like dried or something like that. This is where I should actually be able to see the thing and know exactly what I'm talking about. But it is good. What is this called again? Oh, the beef steak or something. Ah, yes. Tomato tartare. So this is a tomato tartare. Usually when I hear tartare, I think it's something raw, but tomatoes are always raw unless a tomato, you know, gains sentience, like an attack of the killer tomatoes, which I'd be very worried about, you know, eating an attack of the killer tomato tomato, because I think there's like a part of that where they, you know, take over by, Never mind. Anyways, very nice. I like a little reduction sauce on the side. Very, very good. The whole thing with the taco thing, I don't know if that's necessarily a, a thing that needs to happen, but it's nice. That was very nice. It's got a very like vinegary sort of taste down here. Definitely hits that sort of thing right there. I like it. It's very good. This is definitely something that I could see putting on like a on a piece of bread or uh, you know hummus or something along those lines. Very good. I like that a lot. Very nice. So as I look at it closer, as you mentioned, it does look like these are kind of like more sun-dried tomato, and this looks like the innards of a like a fresh tomato. But why is it all one block? How the heck do they do that? Well, this is my favorite type of lettuce to make. Um, what I call boats, like a... Can I get another drink for you, sir, today? Um, yes. Let me think about that for a second, though. Okay. And I will, yeah. Can we see the cocktail list again? Oh, perfect, please? yeah, cocktail list. Thank you. I want to take over you Okay, thank you. Um, so, it looks like sun-dried tomato on the bottom, and maybe just the inside of a tomato on the top. Anyway, this lettuce is good to make like a carbless sandwich if you want to use cold cuts or whatever. It's pretty sturdy. So let's try this tomato taco. I'm gonna do it in one bite. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. I think this is probably vegan too. If you guys are vegan. I mean, it doesn't, it feels like there should be some meat in there, but you don't really need it. It sounds kind of boring if you were to get a tomato, sliced up tomato, but it's very, very delicious. I don't even think I had it with this balsamic, but let me try that. Very nice. Very good. That might be my favorite of the three right now. 
I completely agree. This is definitely so my random. favorite. Right? I know, right? I never thought that, but it's really it's good. I like it a lot. Oh it's a beautiful my gosh. Mai Tai. Wow. There's a flyer. Oh, wow. Cheers. Very <laughs> cool. Where do I begin? Uh, describe it. <laughs> what is gotcha. this? Oh, just the straw? Yeah, that's Thank the straw. You. you can first straw? Sure, might as well. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yet again, I have the boring drink here. Uh, I didn't, was not aware that Emily got a pirate's booty chest. I would have gotten the pirate's booty chest had I known, but I got the flyer, and uh, it's just the regular old drink in a glass with a tiny little flower on it. Okay, so I'm gonna try it. Let's see what it's like. It's very nice. Mm. You can taste that honey. Oh yeah, it definitely has a very honey forward kind of taste to it. It does taste a little bit like a typical tequila beverage. Just like a nice little bit of honey in that. I like that. It's very, very nice actually. All right, so this is the Mai Tai. The fanfare is gone. It's all settled. The dust is settled. Now I can get a real true taste without a crowd behind me. I think it really tastes like Hawaiian punch. The color may fool you, but it's pretty good. And usually Mai Tais have a kick. I feel like this one's not so much, but it's pretty good for me. All right, so first dish we got here is the shrimpy shrimps. I'm a big uh, fan of shrimp, so I'm very excited to try this. This shrimp has its whole head on it, so this is a little bit different. I'm not sure if you're supposed to eat the head or what the deal is. Maybe we'll just take a little... Maybe we'll take the head off. Let's do that. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay. It did taste a little good, the head, but, you know... Okay, here's the shrimp. Nice little juicy little shrimp. There is bread that comes along with it, but that's mm, fine. I think I don't think I need the bread. Here we go, shrimp. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. It's got a nice little spicy little base to it, very oily, very delicious, succulent. It's got a nice little bit of uh, peppers in there too, which gives that nice little spice. It's really, almost like an Italian. Oh, oh god, that pepper's really hot. <coughs> nice little, very, very good succulent, Italian sort of like hearty sort of thing to it. I love it. Nice, hot, and um, very sort of like hearty. I like it. It's 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 very good. I'm sure with the bread, it'd be like a whole like hearty dish to it, but even just alone, it's lovely. It really, really is. Very, very good. I like that a lot. We're going for the shrimp. And I'm going to remove this head delicately, or try to. Little guy. Oh, it's still very hot. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold on. I need to find my knife here. All right. I like that it's served in this bowl to keep it warm. Mmm. Mmm. I'm not a big fan of garlic. I think there's garlic in there and that's fine, but it's not overpowering. Very delicious. Typically I like shrimp cocktails rather than like cooked shrimp, but this is like very good. Mm. All right, so these are the uh, mushrooms with a little bit of egg. I believe that you're supposed to get a little bit of this bread in there. Sort of oh, look at that. Wow, that's some very nice soft bread in there with a hard little base. So 
I have no idea how to get into here, but I'm just gonna kind of, ooh, see, look. I think this is a hard look. Oh, look at that. Look at the egg yolk. Just kind of break that. Get that egg yolk in there. Oh, that looks lovely. Looks absolutely fantastic. Get that mixed in there a little bit. Let's do it like this. So we want a little bit of that yolk, a little bit of these uh, mushrooms going on situation, just like so. And then I'm gonna take a bite. This looks, smells, it looks like this. Wow, that is ridiculously good. I'm a big fan of that. I love me some mushrooms, I must say. Big connoisseur of mushrooms. And the egg yolk mixed with that is just like this weird sort of combination of flavors that I've never thought about doing together, but just works really, really well. And this bread is just so nice and succulent. Wow, that is very, very nice. That is probably one of my favorite mushroom dishes. Nice little bit of saltiness, very, the mushroom sauce. Wow, that's that's crazy. That's crazy good. I'm kind of at a loss for words about how to explain this, but yeah, delicious. Absolutely fantastic. All right, this is the mushroom egg dish. I'm just gonna swirl it around in here. Maybe try and get a mushroom or two on okay. there though. I think these are all mushrooms. Very saucy. Mmm. Mmm. So buttery. I know you aren't a butter fan, but it's like very rich, but like I'm not sometimes mushrooms are just too much, but this is like very tasty and kind of like stew stewish <laughs> but um, pleasant and the mushrooms aren't overpowering it's very good yeah so far so good so next thing we got here a little bit of the duck uh, duck tails woohoo I'm a big uh, duck guy you know, the last duck I had was actually a place around here. So I'm very excited to uh, try the duck. Ducks from around these parts, you know, they're pretty nice. As you can see, it's got that nice little skin on there. Not as crispy as you might get at like a Chinese place or something like that. But uh, let's see here. I'm not, I think I'll leave these little things for a little bit later. Get some of this nice little sauce here. And uh, get this nice big bite right here. See how this goes. reduction on there it goes very very well it's that nice little like vinegary sort of taste in the back of your throat and the duck is cooked perfectly a little bit of give to it but not gaming at all and just very very lovely tasting I must say while we're here why don't I just try one of these things I don't know what this is oh is this some sort of cheesy cheese maybe oh, wait, I'm gonna try it What is that? Look, what is that? <laughs> what is that? Give me this. What is that? What am I looking at? Parsnip latkes. Oh, maybe a potato-y type thing? Okay. Yeah, all right. Interesting. Parsnip latke. All right. Um, yeah, that's that's very, very good. I like that a lot. I know I'm just saying I like everything a lot, but... You like the parsnip? No, 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 the oh, duck, okay. very, very nice. Parsnip thing, good, it's like a little salty, kind of reminds me of like a hash brown sort of deal with like an explosion of uh, like kind of potato-y sort of stuff. I was trying to catch it, I was like, is this cheese? But definitely not, it's very much kind of like a, you know, tastes like a little potato-y sort of deal, so good, very nice, I like that. But uh, definitely the star of the show is the duck, and it's uh, lovely. And it's someone's 2K birthday or maybe KK birthday? I don't know. Oh, thank God there's not a no, third K there. Anyways, uh, <laughs> this is very nice and uh, very, very good. Definitely something to try. I'm just going to take some of this duck. Ooh. 
I had duck recently. I think in New York. We'll see how this compares. Some sauce in there. Mmm. Tastes very familiar. Mmm. What do you think this sauce is? It's like a reduction, some sort of. Yeah, it doesn't taste like something you'd have at like an Asian restaurant. It's more of like a maybe balsamic or I think something it is, yeah. sauce, but very good. That's nice. So we got some uh, lamb here. This is my tour throughout all the farm animals that are on this plate. I think it kind of just gonna take it like this, like a chicken wing. You know, it's like I'm at a sports bar or something like that. Just take a little bite. It smells lovely, all these little spices on here. Absolutely fantastic. You probably want to dip it, and it seems like it's be a similar sort of reduction to the other things on the plate. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's good. It's good, but maybe I'm just not really like a lamb person. But it's, I mean, it's nice. It's just kind of like, my, I'm like ready for like a beef kind of flavor. And like, it's just kind of like, it's not there, you know, for me. But the sauce is good. I think it works well with it, but it's just kind of like, I, I want something more sort of deal. But it, it's good. It's nice. I think the spices kind of really help it out the most really when it comes to it you know it's got a nice little crusted base around the outside the meat is uh, very almost raw and um, that's good you know I like raw meat, so it's fine but very soft very like chewy almost hard to like get off of there but um you know it's it's nice I must say it's it's nice oh a little bit cold but like it's it's fine it's good yeah I'm gonna try the lamb. Put it in the sauce here. Let's see. Mm. It's pretty good. I know if you're looking for a beef, a beefy bite, it's quite different, but I'm, I'm okay with lamb. I like lamb, um, very tender. The sauce is very good. It's kind of um, an interesting flavor. I can't recall what's in it, but um, I, I like it. And I think with a lot of sauce on there, you might like it more too. <laughs> But yes, very nice. Everything so far is really, really wonderful. I think the shrimp is probably my favorite of these. Maybe between the mushroom and the shrimp, I would say. I think definitely my favorite is the mushroom, which is funny okay, because so, all my... So you're going to go vegetarian? All my favorite things have been the, the veggies here. I mean, it's I guess crazy, the tomato right? is a fruit, right? But everything, all the meat has been like whatever. And then just the veggies have been absolutely fantastic. Do you think you would have liked this without the egg because if so maybe you could go I think so vegan. I think I would have liked it without the egg it was yeah. mainly the uh, mushrooms that were really the thing there it was really nice I liked it a lot yeah but I mean this was it was fine and then this was pretty good too and the shrimp was shrimp you know the shrimps like whatever yeah, you know yes. but definitely the veggies have been the or the veggies and fruits the have stars. been the stars of the show 100% yes, yeah definitely. maybe I am a vegetarian maybe I could become a vegetarian we just finished up at San Laurel at the Conrad Hotel. It was uh, very nice. I must say that the service was fantastic and the food was very nice. Every dish had a nice little uh, special certain je ne sais quoi about it, I suppose. I did enjoy how everything kind of like was its own separate little deal. It had its own dish, it had its own thing, it had its own flavors. It was interesting. Apparently they're gonna be changing the menu up within the next 
little bit of time. It's always uh, switching up. It did have a very small menu to begin with, but everything that was there was uh, right up our alley. I thought it was very nice, succulent, delicious, and uh, very good. The drinks, uh, I must say, are definitely something you need to check out because uh, I'm a sucker for a little bit of a show when it comes to the drinks, and uh, that was definitely a show. They had the pirate's chest. They had all the other stuff, so definitely something to see and definitely something to impress your uh, date with or whatever it may be so all in all i think it was uh, fantastic five out of five most definitely a uh, lovely time uh, great service good food and uh interesting drinks so what on board can you ask for it's right here in the heart of downtown next to the 50 concert center conrad hotel new hotel and the new restaurant right here uh, by jose uh, Al andres so check it out fantastic and that's it Come check it out, that's it.